Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Sly Fox Town, and I'm gonna teach you how to be brutal, awesome, and great at free for all. And I'm Leola. And that's my girlfriend Leola, she's gonna be helping me because uh, I stutter too much and I say things awfully a lot or repeat myself. These people were the people helping me and the first map we're gonna be seeing is Afghan. Afghan, I don't know why they name it like that. It's not Afghanistan at all. And you see these dots popping in? These are the spawn points. You want to know all these spawn points by heart if you play free for all. If you're a legit free for all player, this is what you want to learn. Why? Because if you know where the dots are or where the spawn points are, you will have the upper hand into. You will be the first person getting first blood. Right off the bat, you'll be the person getting first blood. Understand that there's more dots than you really need. In free for all there's only 8 players. I actually filled the lobby with all my friends because um, that way we can actually get exploit all the spawn points, you know. Some people are actually spawning next to the other person and you know it was all shenanigan bullshit. But so we all got all the spawn points and it's great. So Leola, am I missing something else that I gotta tell them? Do you have a question that I should ask? So basically what you're saying is that if I, um... <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Um, I don't really play this very often at all, but, yeah, um, you don't even play to it. help me play <laughs> <laughs> better, what you're saying is that when I'm playing the game, all I have to do is, not all I have to do, but one of the things I need to know is where these people are spawning at so that if I stay there and go to those spots, I'll be able to kill somebody when they die and come back to life. Pretty much. They're, every time they die, they will spawn in one of these locations. And, you know, usually if you're really close to it, it won't make it happen, but they will probably spawn the nearest close to you that you won't interfere with the spawn point, you know? The more you know about the game, the better you become at and just being a legit player. And you know, free fall is something that that I take serious because um, I hate team oriented games because usually my teams give out my position. I'm wearing ninja and my footsteps are silent. And then I have this person with Commando Pro running next to me, and it kind of sucks. So I stick to games that I have to play by myself. I usually play other team games. God, my puppy screaming and yelling again. Um, just when you wanna, when you really want the full experience of the whole Rambo feeling, free for all is the way. And if you have everything on your side, you're gonna have a good time. And you know, I usually go ten and above KD on free for all most of the times because I know all these tricks. And other than that, I'll probably teach and show you guys more commentary of whatever I can do to help you guys in free for all because it's what I do best. I'll do other team deathmatch and objective type of games. But I really don't like them. <laughs> so would you suggest that I go to all the different kind of spawn spawn points during the game, or that I stick with a few that are in, in close range? Um, I when I play personally, I play defend the the base when I play free for all. Yeah, people might think it's campy, which is a bad thing. But campy to me is staying in one spot, particularly just not moving and looking through your sight and waiting for somebody come by and shoot them. That is bullshit and I hate people like that. If you defend a spawn point, you actually, what you do is move left and right, having making it easier for the spawn to actually work for the people. AKA, if I move out of the way right here uh, next to the stairs and terminal, I actually let the spawn point near the mirror or the back of the mirror work. Oh, by the way, I hate underpass. Underpass is like the crappiest map and uh, it should burn in hell because I cannot sound horror. And this map, I hate it. I cannot sound whore for hell. And it sucks. Sound whore? Yeah, sound whore is out. So you get paid to be a whore for sound? That was a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get to listen to, I get to listen to people's footsteps on my headset. And this is the last map. It's Wasteland. Hopefully you guys uh, found my commentary. First one, somewhat entertaining. I don't know if this will be my first video. I'll probably actually put some gameplay first. And then I'll show you guys some tips. So whatever is way I put it or set up, don't don't get mad at me. <laughs> and uh, actually, now you I will have a nice little gameplay. I did not win this match. This was a private match, but my friend Jamesy, uh, I don't know if I say his name right, uh, actually got a nuke here, and I hate him for that. <laughs> Go so, Jamesy! Jamesy is a beast. Woo. And you know. Body over here. Woo, woo. <laughs> 
There's a party over there. There's a party in my pants. In your pants? For Jamesy. Lucky oh. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'll try to have my lovely girlfriend uh, help me out in every now and then because who doesn't like having a girl next to you while you're playing? I do. Then they can fetch me the sandwich. No, you don't. <laughs> So guys, my name is Sly Fox Town on that note, and my lovely assistant, Leola. Leola, and take care, and watch the gameplay, and please thumb stuff, and leave me all the comments that you want, if you think I didn't put anything, or I missed something, just uh, thumb stuff it, please, because YouTube, now it's thumb up, not rate, and comment, because I want to talk to you guys, peace. Missile ready for launch. Predator missile ready for launch. Repeat. Predator missile.